Hello everyone, welcome back to Ultra's Players Dead Cells. Two runs ahead of where you were before, because I made the same mistake again, and I <clears throat> didn't check my disc. I had enough disc space, uh, and it didn't, and so I gave you two whole episodes that you would never see. So, bully for me, um, I unlocked only... Uh, did I unlock the random starter sword when you were here or not? Eee, one way or the other. Oh, I took damage on the first floor. Um, <clears throat> we have a blood sword now and an ice bow, which is nice. Presumably no synergy here. No, there's no special effects on these just now. Um, I unlocked the stompy rune is the other one that I did unlock. I made my way all the way to the Oh, the other thing I did, which you wouldn't believe me of, is that I did the Forgotten Sepulchre first time, no dying. So, go me. Um, so, we, we'll do that again, basically. I am happy with that area. It's not... Currently, it's not nearly as uh, horribly scary as maybe it seemed if you watched it on other people playing, but then maybe me watching other people playing is the reason I know how scary to expect it to be, huh? Huh? So, we'll, we'll... Oh, actually, I was gonna say, we'll probably use the uh, Stompy rune as much as possible, and here's me completely failing to go and use this rune over here. Where's my teleporter? I walked all the way past it. In fact, I went so far past it, there was another teleporter and didn't even notice. Let's go back to here. I should have used this as soon as we found it, but I was going forwards. Twin daggers. I prefer it to blood sword, so I can't sort the starter sword regardless of what it is, apparently. And we will take an ice grenade, but probably looking to replace it in future because we seem to be going for um largely purple builds these days. Oh, there's only two teleporters active. That's what Don't think I've missed anything except for I, mean, I could have gone and got this treasure and then walked all the way back. I saw that flash. Did you see that flash? I saw it flash. Thousand gold is actually really useful because it helps us fill in either. Well, I was going to say our missing skill here, or at the very least, uh, a better alternative weapon. So I don't need them now. Maybe we have ice already. Just bleeding, poison. What do we have? Damage to frozen and freeze. So. I think we'd like to keep at least one freeze thing. We might want to replace the bow rather than the grenade, even though the grenade is the least... I want to say the least valuable, but I mean that in the sense that it, it has a separate buff um, mutation, which doesn't really... <clears throat> it doesn't really uh, necessarily match with the skill that we... The, the build that we're going to want to make, so... It's... Ooh, prime candidate for roll, you bugger. It's prime candidate for being replaced, basically. I guess we have to go this way. I'm surprised not to have found the path that doesn't have the... Oh, it's up there. Ah, uh, heck it. Not going very fast. I do want to kill as many things as possible and get cells. Yes. So, time doors offer later. Although, I do very much appreciate having a better starting set of equipment. <laughs> Even though... Um, oh, quick, what's this like to get me? Yeah. I mean... That sounds like it could be a good thing to... I've got the cursor on my screen again. I keep having the cursor on my own screen, the mouse pointer. But not on your screen because you can't see it. I'm going to start unlocking items rather than um, rather than the the long term thingies. There's so much stuff I said on the episodes that didn't record, and I'm like, uh, what have you heard me say? <laughs> Victims burn. Not much good. Okay. Uh, I might as well just upgrade and reforge and all that stuff. Toxic cloud. Cool. I mean, I spent a lot of money there, but still got a lot left, so why the heck not? Um, I also unlocked this, which I really like. 
In fact, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to take that first. It's, um... I, I like the DPS improvements that... Sort of have a, ver uh, a variety of different triggers. Trigger sort of points. Whereas... Because one of them is, like, immediately after killing an enemy. And the other one is... When there's a bunch around you, so... If you have sort of both in your repertoire, you know, you've got a um, pretty good streak of uh, DPS available to you. I died on one of my runs to a champion, that I, an elite that I didn't mean to aggro. Because I didn't know it was there until it was telling me about it. Bit rude, in my opinion. A little bit rude. But, you know, that's not. Hey, yeah, like that. Exactly like that. Thank you for explaining the process to the watchers at home who may not have understood exactly what I was telling them. I couldn't shoot it because <laughs> the other thing was in the way. I'm just, I'm just trying to play the game and provide commentary. Can you? Give me a little bit of, bit of a chance here. Honestly. Can't even smash the door open. What did we win? We got Balance Blade and the Duplex Bow, which shoots two arrows at a time, which I don't think is any better than the Simplex Bow, to be honest. Thank you for the immediate scroll. But it does mean I have to decide up front. Let's go for a Brutality build and then just sort of try and select our items with that in mind, rather than do it the other way around, where you find items and then suddenly find that you need to respec in the middle. Like, I don't have to keep the purple bow, right? I could maybe have just a, a secondary weapon I never use, or something that is a very much more of a utility secondary weapon, like Frost Blast, um, and therefore it isn't like it doesn't need the purple synergy because I can just use it whenever the actual damage output of it is not the goal of it. But I like that idea. Wow, you go far. I didn't think you went that far. Roll through him. Really hate these shield things. The distance that enemies attack from is something I've yet to get the hang of. And then that shield thing, there's sort of um there's an area at the end of your roll where you don't count as being rolling anymore. So if you end your roll too close to the shield thing, you just won't go past the shield thing. Golly. So many things to learn. So many strats. Oh, you're actually supposed to dodge that. That was on me. <laughs> I mean, it's all on me. I'm the one in control. If you can consider this to be in control. Also, how are you attacking with a shield? That seems a bit rude. Apparently, shields do get better. I, I assumed as much. I believe I said so. Yeah. Um, it's just that, obviously, I don't have any of the things that make shield meta that of interesting right now. Right. So, I think we'll have to wait and see on what becomes available. There's going to be... From what I understand from what Helsing said in the comment, there's going to be a mutation that makes shields that much better... I will pay for a scroll. You can't stop me. Yeah. Br uh, red, please. Also, where are my free skills? I've been on this floor for two minutes already. I want... I said free skills. We'll come back to the shop. When we've discovered that there's nothing else to collect. I think. Or should we just buy one now? Let's get a purple skill. I like that Ice Grenade is uh, purple and... I meant red, actually, now <laughs> I think about it. Um, I said purple because I'm used to purple, but no, 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 we want red skills. Red. I'm not using it. So hopefully we will soon enough unlock the mutation that makes shields actually worthwhile, but until then, it just seems like immediately replacing them is the best thing to do if you find yourself with one. And I'm not going to find myself with one because that would involve taking one on purpose. I have a choice of not taking it at the start of the game, so that's what I'm doing. Sign. Thomas Place. Oh, it's Tom. Mushroomology Tom. 
Secret zone discovered. Give me some stuff. Gnarly. Yeah, I know. I heard you. Take this. Grand. Is there any more stuff down here? Jar of mushrooms? Nah. I was hoping that maybe uh, I could get a... I don't know. A heal? Something out of them? What are you likely to get out of a jar of mushrooms, really? This entire floor went upwards. So we're going to go and find the sewers, because not finding the sewers is just cheap and lame. And I ain't about that cheap, lame lifestyle, y'all. Fighting with the controls, trying to get it to select the correct controller. Controller? What's that thing called? Not controller. The teleporter, yes. Sinew Slicer versus Wolf Trap versus Ice Grenade. I think we don't need two things that immobilize is the reason I went for that particular choice. And you're going to have to convince me that the Assassin's Blade needs to be replaced by anything other than a better Assassin's Blade. So we'll see how this goes along. Roll. What can we give you money for? Uh, I don't think I need... Do I need a better bow? I guess we could put one in it. But I'm not really going to use it. No, that's a purple item. We won't waste purple item until we've got purple um, build going on. Health potions heal you over time. But add DPS. What doesn't kill me? It covers HP after a parry. Is that what you were talking about? This one? I can understand how the good survival build with this would get you a long way in the game. Possibly further than I've been getting before, but you're going to have a hard time convincing me that just being able to kill things faster or stop them from moving is worse. Okay, let's just keep... You know, we haven't got enough to buy this, so we might as well fill it up. And then we will do that. Yep. Do that. Fair enough. I'll keep that. We now have a synergy with our one um, one upgraded weapon has a synergy with one of our skills, and the other skill will just hold things in position until I'm ready for them, I guess. Well, I don't know. Maybe if we don't aggro an elite archer this time that I wasn't ready for, that would be super grand. Pretty sure this is a two minute door. <laughs> I wonder what we can unlock this time then, because you've missed some stuff. You missed me unlocking to my... Do you know what? It wasn't actually that difficult to unlock the um, the Stompy rune. It was an elite in the... Um, the Ublietto. It's not the Ublietto. It's, the other one. it's called something similar to that. With all the... The one we died on immediately when we went down last time. Um to one of those Illuminati pyramid things. I nearly dodged too early. <laughs> Did you know you could do that? Of course you can do that. Silly boy. Um, yeah, it was just one of those slasher thingies that can't hit you if you uh, trap them and then own them with hella skills instead of fighting them like an actual, you know, honourable person. Which I am not. As far as I can tell, I'm some sort of dead person who has been completely wronged by the ruler of this kingdom, whatever that may mean, by having maybe been a prisoner in this area and... Look, I understand that lots of people have died from the plague and from the guards and every single area has a different reason why everybody in it is dead, which is very imaginative, but... Also, somewhat quite semi. Oh, yeah, it's just by this elite that I totally knew was there. When you start teleporting, I'm going to be sad. Ow. Stop. Hurting me. No. Roll. Can't get it in the back because it won't stop moving. There we go. 
So the problem with grenades is the, uh, the time it takes to recharge. Downtime on them. I couldn't... I, just, I didn't need it to stop. Kind of wish I'd taken the uh, traps instead of the grenade, because if I was going to take something like a grenade because of its, you know, stopping power, then you probably want to take the other thing with stopping power that doesn't take quite so long to recharge. Do we have to go down here? I don't want to go down here. I mean, it's pretty ninja that you can just jump in the air and not take any damage, but at the same time. Nice. Did we get much gold? 30 cents per cell. 30 cents. Well, it looks like a cent from that distance, but it might not be a cent. Nah, it's not a cent. It's just a coin. 30, 30 coins every time you get a cell. It's not too shabby. I would like uh, my bow to be useful. <laughs> I'm not using it. Um, which means we don't really have to worry about its colour, I guess, but at the same time. I'd like both of my slots to have some value. Run. Hide. It's valuable. Ah, stop. Okay. I was talking, and I forgot that those things just turn into explodies. So, that's on me. I would like... The... the, the oh, what is this... No, this is not... Uh, okay. Uh... <laughs> I that's what this is for. What place to put an enemy, huh? Well, it's a slightly better of what I've already got. Is it? Yes. Because I'm not actually using it, which means it doesn't matter how much damage it does to a bleeding target. Because I'm not attacking bleeding targets with it. Stop. There we go. I don't even know what I was saying when everything just changed. I changed, it changed. You know, we, we all change. You can't expect me to be the same person I was five minutes ago. It's just unreasonable. Thank you for a finally a scroll. Although I was probably saying that maybe we maybe we should have taken the, uh, the trap instead of the ice grenade because it will upgrade for a start with the same color. The mutation, I mean. And also... We can use it faster. Two sinew slices. Damage down when we're near it. I guess. <laughs> Why not? We haven't really got any um, really reliable crowd control anyway, because as mentioned, that was really difficult to dodge as it happened. We decided to fly down through the floor so that I couldn't um, kill it, <laughs> and I couldn't roll away from its area of influence because of reasons. Those reasons being, there's no room for it. Do I want to go over there? Not really. It's just a shield. Okay, ignore that. Run. I'm really not doing too well right now. All these things that explode on me. I'm, I can, I'm okay with the things that explode on me. It's when suddenly it turns out that the things that are exploding on me uh, have also trapped me in a position where I now can't, you know, get out of the way. It's a very, uh, very tactical game from the from the NPC, sir. You just. You. you to, uh, uh, explain. <laughs> just explain yourself. You can't. You just. You either teleport or you're stuck. You don't just not. Not teleport and be not stuck. I like this, apart from the fact that I'm being attacked and didn't know about it. Give me, give me time. Give me more cells. Give me more powers ups for the rest of the thingies. And stop giving me difficult situations that I don't know how to deal with. I'm obviously very tired, otherwise I will be playing better. I don't know if that's remotely true. I do feel slightly tired. It's not an excuse. I'm just bad at the game, okay? It's, it's all... I... I feel like we haven't had one of those killer runs that just makes me super excited to be playing right now. Uh, and I do feel a little bit victimized by the kind of rude way that the game likes to mess around with the positioning of all the difficult things to dodge. But at the same time, I have been taking damage on the first floor, which I honestly 
have no excuse for. Money helps. Your money always helps. If nothing else, I want to be able to at least start again when I die with 6,000 gold, mind you. I then go, ooh, do I really need to blah blah blah. Um... I think that's actually better than the Frost Blast. It has higher range. Uh, and still does damage even if you've attacked the thing already. I'm not quite sure what the uh, bonus would be of the Frost Blast. Why would you take a Frost Blast over the Ice Bow? I guess if the Frost Blast had something that the Ice Bow didn't. Uh, I'm going to say no. It's not good enough. But, you know, a, a very high level Frost Blast could probably outrank a low level Ice Bow just because of its modifiers. But in this case, no. I The DPS on the Ice Bow is way lower. But I can output that DPS more than once. So I think you have to argue that actually makes it a bit higher. Desk. Hiring a prison officer. Ooh. Did you set aside a few pennies for a rainy day? I expect he did. So you should actually poke around these lore things, even if you've read the lore before, because sometimes... They, uh... They have new... I... I keep trying to roll, and then I discover that I'm actually up against the enemy, and then it's too late. I'll take the sinew slicer. That was 50% HP, and I didn't need any of it. Oh, thank you for the button. There we go. Have we got everything we can possibly get? Do I want that over this? Yes, because I have a lot of money. I do like this, and I was really doing badly with it uh, in the previous run. I appreciate that. And also I appreciate that I did a 20 minute run and then started another one. Um, I think we tried the Brutality run again. Because I really like the Assassin's Dagger. I'd be very grateful to receive another one. Firebrands are really good, but we don't have anything that helps. And a bit of ranged crowd control is, I think, a bit better than um, any sort of uh, extra local DPS, I guess. Is the... Oh yeah, you should be just standing it in the back, really, shouldn't you? Oh, hello. More scrolls, is it? Let's make the game harder and me harder, too. Fine. I'm okay with it. Uh, I thought we were going the other way. Are we not? Where is the... What, 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 what? Oh. Three runs that I've done so far are all blurring together in my brain. I thought we'd already done this. And followed it, to be fair. Ooh. Nope. See, I tried to dodge. <laughs> the fact that there's a cooldown on the roll, but I don't know what it is, makes it very difficult to get it right. Slam, slam, slam. And sewers, right. Let's get the sewers right this time. I've died twice on them. To different reasons. Both of which are an experience. I'll give you that for free. Uh, but, yeah, I'm not... Uh, I'm not happy with my performance. And I'm not happy with the uh, curveballs that the game has been throwing me. Especially on a day when I'm not happy with my performance. So... I don't know if... Um, the sandals are any good. I've only seen Northern Lion play. And therefore, I have his opinion of them, which is not very good. Let's put the rest of them into the heavy crossbow, which we are going to want at some point, I've no doubt. Uh, an arrow, no, yes. That's nice. That's very nice. Worms are cool. We're probably going to get rid of that grenade. So, we will just take... Yeah, I'm going to keep going with um, Malay, not Malay, Brutality Mutations if I'm going to go with Brutality Builds, although I do appreciate that I'm making it a little bit samey right now, I just want to actually see if I can still play this game past the second level. It's all the same to you, because uh, so far, no, no I cannot. Also, we keep being given decent items to begin with, so it's almost like, why would I mess with something that's worth it? 
Stab it. There we go. Okay. If it works, don't knock it. And it is not working, so maybe we should knock it. Uh, next episode, we'll probably do that. If necessary. Ah. I tried to roll again, but it didn't work. Makes me sad. I mean, at least I can one-shot a lot of these. You you didn't get hit by the attack that are connected to it. <laughs> Things that I thought should be working are really not working out for me today. See, that's nice. Just actually use this bow and everything's golden. Grand, mate. Grand. Let's go and... Ah! You can't shoot that far. Wow, we. Not everything is going according to plan today. Everything is not coming up Millhouse. Getting a little bit uh, overwhelmed by things that come out of the ground, I think, is the problem today. I'm not. I know that they're here, but I don't expect them. Whenever I'm in a situation where it should almost be like second nature that there's something going to come out of the ground, there's no reason to assume that you know, all my encounters are going to be. Well, fine. There we go. Shoot an arrow. Bring my arrow back. Shoot an arrow. Kill the thing. Hope that you don't get a score. See, now that I'm expecting things to come out of the ground and get me, there ain't nothing coming out of the ground to get me. It's very... It's gaslighting me, that's what it's doing. That's supposed to go through two enemies, so why didn't you hit the other one? Doing, um, I'm doing okay if I can actually get my roll into position. You didn't... I jumped down, and then he decided... <laughs> My second jump after I jumped down, jumped back up again, at which point I was a little bit the worse for wear, to be honest with you. Let's just do this. It's not, not play a hero. We don't need to not use our healing. It doesn't help. Oh. Jimmy, thank you. What did we win? Nah. I'm enjoying the freeze. Thank you very much. Good. Nice. Uh, oh, I don't even... I have nothing to say in my defense or anything else. Also, I'm not using my skills. So, what can I even offer? You know? Even if I could offer the fact that the game was making it hard for me, which is kind of its prerogative. Like, I, I'm not helping myself. <laughs> Throw down a trap or a grenade and chuck the, chuck the sinew slicer at it. I let him just leave. Stand somewhere safe. Although, you have to give me a little bit of credit. Not necessarily credit, but like, I suppose credit. When the thing that is supposed to get stuck or teleport just decides to do neither and teleport across a gap without actually doing a teleport thing. He just moves illegally. Run. Stuck myself in a corner, didn't I? What have you got me? More DPS, except for on the crits. I don't think I want it. The Assassin's Dagger does usually do me very well. Especially when I've got a Wolf Trap, which I now do. We just have to not play quite so stupidly. Maybe after this episode I'll go and have a nap. <laughs> play something else, you know? There's, um... Like, if you can't sleep at night, you just you get up and you do something, and then ten minutes later, you'll be weary. Um, often. You know, it's not, it's not a tried and tested cure for insomnia. If you actually have problems, don't come crying to me if that doesn't work for you. But if you're having a, an abnormal sleepless night, just get out of bed. Do something else. Let your brain reboot itself. And you might find that within a few minutes, you'll be fine. So I've taken the, the after you killed an enemy deeps 
mutation, which I believe is what this uh, one with the sword above me means. So I get deeps after I kill something. Grand. Wish they would hurt each other with that. I would like to also get the melee mutation, which would give me more deeps when I'm near things. It wasn't even worth me going up here. Nice. Good timing. I hate when I miss the timing on these. That's the worst. You did not hit me. Do you see how far away his swing was from me? As well as how far away I was from him. I was so confident that there was no way it could reach me. I didn't do anything about it. Live and learn, huh? Throwing knife or double crossbow-matic. We're not really using either. We might as well just have a DPS upgrade for when we do start using either, I guess. Toxic Cloud is good because it means it's good in crowds. I mean, I've got a lot of perps. So we should probably just do that. Ramparts, is that all? I've missed the chest. I don't look at the map when I'm walking around. So I have a look afterwards and I'm going, how did I not go there? Let's get in here. Do we win? A sinew slice is brilliant. brilliant. Grand. So we've now... That's a three and this is a two. Well, that's even better because it spreads. So we take that. Sell this. That was easy. Should we explore the rest of the floor? We might as well. We're not going to make the time door. It's not really the goal of this. Very funny. It's not really the goal of this particular run. There's more down there, but I'm not going to do it. You can't make me, so sod yourself. I wonder if I should go... There's another sewers, which I keep forgetting about, and I should probably go and find it. Let's see. I don't want the heavy crossbow, so I'm not going to actually fill it in. I don't really want anything new. I think both of our items are fine. 75 DPS if there is no enemy near you. So that is a, a ranged build for sure. It kind of explains why they match the colour of ranged items, I suppose. Uh, let's start getting a new sword. It would be nice to have some more options at the start of the game. What have you got for me? I'm happy with this. No. We can reforge these modifiers. Burning, frozen. Do I have anything that freezes? Yeah, ice bow, obviously. Not sure that matters actually on a uh, <laughs> on a trap. Now I think about it, how much damage does a trap really do? Plus, you'd have to freeze the trap. You'd have to freeze the enemy first and then trap them in order for the trap to do any damage. I don't know. <laughs> I saw a synergy and I took it, and then I thought about it, and now I'm here, and I could have gone back, but who's gonna? Ain't nobody got time for that. I know it's my. Uh, Microphone might be clipping again, so maybe I should sit back. I don't know where to sit. <laughs> I'm trying to. If I sit back too far, you, I, you can't hear me. Which is not what I'm doing right now, which is why you can still hear me. But. Good. Why? Why though? Things on the screen that I can't see. I saw that. I'm trying to get me. Hmm. I don't really have much to say anymore. I'm just going to keep playing. Again, with the dead ends that have no value. Can't make the time door. Want to get more cells for killing everything. I don't really think... Like, it's, I don't need anything on this run. It's... It's okay. Did he turn around for me? Because I'm pretty sure I didn't do that. Just keep putting things in perps and reds, I guess. At some point, we might want to take that 60% extra HP from the green, but I don't care. You know, I'm taking the occasional bit of damage, which is just silly. It's just bad damage. Two minutes ago. So, <laughs> it's just a case of upgrade the weapons you've got, or give me just somehow completely better weapons, and I'll be grand. 
And, of course, more cells. At some point, we want to try and aim for an unlocking sort of thing, but right now I'll be happy with a actually winning the game for once sort of thing, because apparently in the few days since I last played it, I am now incapable of it. I'm no longer recording to the disc that I was recording to. The problem I was having was that I was recording to my SSD because it's fast, and I wanted to, because of the bitrate that you have to record at, it felt like I wouldn't be able to, you know, stream the the actual recording data to a spinning disk fast enough um, to keep it going, but you know, spinning disks have been fine thus far for everybody, so I don't know why I was worried about it. I did do a quick test first. Though. I've got a, I've got a two over my ah yes, I see. So when I have two enemies next to me and my other mutation kicks in, it tells me that my DPS is increasing doubly. Why are you not? Yeah. Oh. Wonder what nearby. Wonder what they consider nearby to be. Is it the same range as the um, the infantry bow, which has crit at close quarters? Oh, well done. This <laughs> is straight down the hole. Nice one, mate. Nice one. Oh, thanks for the. Uh, you know the trying to make me feel a little better there with giving me a cell when I recover from this fall, which is magic, by the way. Don't know how we manage that. Can we have this magic when anything else happens that goes wrong? Like if I start falling towards spikes, for example? Yeah, let's not uh, lampshade too much the inner workings of a game, but... Uh, sometimes you have to wonder. Done again. I haven't done it again. Whew. Not looking forward to any future levels now because I've been so bad today on these two levels that I don't really want to be put in a position where I have to deal with like those blady things that teleport towards you in the... Wait, isn't that not here? No, it's in the next one, which is... Uh, I can't even remember the names of the levels. I don't think I'm ill again. I'm a bit tired, but, like, not excusably tired. Maybe we go and play Darkest Dungeon next. <laughs> put this, uh... Put this series to rest for one episode so I can sleep and play Darkest Dungeon. Piercing the first target is pretty good. So we'll take that. What? The game lagged out? It was not your computer. How strange. Always worries me when stuff happens on videos. I have this weird problem. Does anyone else have a Chromecast? I have a Chromecast. But it's the first generation Chromecast. Whenever it starts playing a YouTube video, it takes between 5 and 10 seconds to stop stuttering. Like a... Ooh, a scroll. Like... I can't even describe it. It's like it can't... It's not like it can't load the video fast enough. It's like it can't get it into memory fast enough. And it's only a 1080p video. So I guess we go... Because I want both red and... I think I've got enough deeps on my red, so we should go for survival here. Just to actually increase the HP, because at some point we're going to just be one shot dead, and I don't want to be in that position. Now we can add it to red. We only have one red thing, but it it has so many red... Well, okay. We only have one red item, but it has two red mutations that help it. So... We really want to avoid overbalancing ourselves so that we don't have any benefit in any sector of our build, but at the same time, we don't want to, you know, ignore the fact that our red build is got a lot of you know, possibilities, got a lot of potential to it. Roll, shoot, kill, good. Murder, death, kill. Nice. Man, Demolition Man is such a good film. I was watching it and we were taking the mick because it all seems so unrealistic. You know, you watch it and because now we are basically 
at that point of the future that they they are depicting. This is ten years left or so. Much like when 2015 passed with Back to the Future, you start comparing what the past people thought the future would be like compared to the future what it turned out to be like. Um, and the the future of Demolition Man was just so like twee. It was prim and proper and salinary, san sanitary, salinary. That's uh, eye drops. It's music made of salt. It was made of salt too, but salt was banned. You know, it was a, it was almost a excessively idyllic utopia, and we're going, yeah, it's never going to be like this. And then, spoilers, they explain that it's a, it's a, it's a artificial society generated by that one guy. I'm like, okay, <laughs> this whole film, everything I've complained about, I like complaining about films. I like uh, being that guy who just whinges about the. <laughs> the in not just the inconsistencies, but the absurdities. Inconsistencies are fine, it's absurdities. Well, some inconsistencies are fine, you know? You can get away with inconsistencies, especially like frame-to-frame -frame inconsistencies, when you reshot the scene from a different camera angle, but those are okay, because they're pretty difficult to like iron out all of, and even if you did, it'd be like it wouldn't add that much to the the actual film to have done so. I'm gonna not fight this elite if you don't mind. Uh, I've got okay. Because it's gonna remain <laughs> held into that, I'm gonna keep it. The damage you take is inflicted on the enemy. Minus ten percent damage, which is great. And I can get an extra jump. Don't know how much that extra jump helps. Also, please note we're in a new area which may open up uh, for the progress. So, like, but there's inconsistencies in the writing is much worse than inconsistencies in the the execution, the shooting, the, the cinematography of it. So, don't come to me with your plot holes and nonsense and pretend that I'm okay with it. I mean, I probably am. Ooh, I appreciate a straight upgrade. So what we'll do is we'll reforge those modifiers very quickly, <laughs> because that said 100% damage taken in case you weren't reading as fast as me. Which is okay, you're allowed to not read as fast as me. We have got minus 10% on that, so now we're doing 108% damage of our original damage. Do I want to go this way in the first place? Is this going to be bad news bears for me? Roll. So you didn't roll again. Just being that little bit extra careful. Not quite as careful as if I had the curse on, but certainly more careful as I normally am because I really don't want to get hit if I can avoid. Nay! <laughs> Having the uh, DPS when there's several enemies nearby is also extremely helpful. I like that if I do it right, the... I um, don't know if there's a thing there, so I'm not going to try. If I do it right, the roll means that I end up pointing towards the back of an enemy, ready to strike. Unfortunately, by the way, we didn't get anything special from going through there. Which is a bit... Sad. I would like to have found a different path now that I've got different skills, although I'm pretty sure that if I stomp the right floors, that will turn out to be true. I am aware this is now a 43 minute video. Uh -huh. I know it. Where did these come from? Why do I suddenly... Do some of my um, blueprints require me to have achieved something or unlocked something else or something because why does this person let me have the barnacle and the crusher while I think I'll have one by the way because we haven't got one yet well previously I've not seen this before and I have unlocked these um ooh. We're going to use this to see if it does what I expect. Okay, cool. I was worried that it was going to be a ceiling thingy, which means I'm not going to be able to use it on the boss. That's okay. Let's reforge this so that I'm not going to die immediately. Nope. There we go. 
Once the grenade, burning target. We don't have burning. We do have two things that... Oh, there we go. Victims burn, but I don't have anything that creates burning, which is kind of pesky. I think we should be okay, because we have... Um... Yeah, I think that. We have the skill that lets us grip the enemy in position and shoot them, stab them from behind, which is fine. We no longer have plus 100% damage, which is also fine. So I think we should be able to survive this fight, but apologize in advance if I don't do it because my head is not 100% in the game right now. So I hope you appreciate how much I do for you, basically. Uh, let me out. Oh, I didn't work. Nice. Get out. Good. Go on. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Help. Oh, I hate when he's slowed and you have to time the... Uh... Yeah, that. But when he's slow. There you go. Right, that's that one. Doing a decent chunk of damage every time he's trapped in one of these, although I do not appreciate him being all red and zappy when I'm trying to shoot him. I just shot him. <laughs> I didn't really have a plan for that shot, I just shot him. Nice. Get this down. Get ready for him to do that. Yep. You know the plans. <laughs> Idiot. Whoa, watch out. Can't zap that. Have this. Get stuck in it. Yeah, this is going to go fine. We don't have to worry about anything right now. Easy flipping peasy. What did we win? Pick it up. Alienation. See, that is what I was talking about at the start of this run. 338 DPS, even though you only get to do it once, is much better than 38 DPS. Victims burn. Which is what I call a synergy. So we've got alienation, which we are probably about to find out what it does. I've seen it before, I just don't remember. Because it was somebody else's video a long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. You are a later thing. Much, much later. You are the person who I'm going to give all my cells to right now. Don't really want to unlock the barnacle today. We might as well put the money in it. Oh. Scroll too far. That was a mistake. Not a big mistake, though, so it's okay. Where's my reforged dude? I don't really need him. Get lost, reforged dude. You're not welcome here. I can't get up there yet. I don't know if Stilt Village has any other exit that I can use, so we're probably not going to be able to get any new unlocks today, which is upsetting. Well, I don't know if it's upsetting. It did really well. No. <laughs> Leave me alone. You carefree monster of death. Burning is nice. Give me more burning. Nice. The area of effect is my favourite effect of effect. Also, when they thaw out because you've hit them, you can hit them again. I had not considered that, which does actually somewhat make the Frost Blast that much better. Because if they don't stay frozen for very long, you can do a lot of damage to them. Roll. Roll! See, the first one prevented me from rolling from the second one. Is there any value to stomping a thing? Can I get money? Or a cell or something? I guess because if we're going to have fire and ice at the same time, we're going to be able to use Frost Blast a lot. Also, it being a legend... Well, I'm, well, I'm assuming means legendary. Let's um, let's undo our mistake just there, shall we? Um, we are going to be very quickly learning that... Oh. <laughs> they died down there somehow. Very quickly learning that 
having uh, more brutality is also going to be fine, where the frost blast is normally a purple item. So being able to use it, uh, being able to get the, the bonus from brutality build is grand. Super grand. So, ah, uh, yeah. We're going to be getting a lot of damage out of that. Go in the door. Good. Oh, okay. We have a build that is working for me in a actually manageable fashion rather than the usual, which is everything surprises me and I die a lot. Oh, bad. Forgot that that was uh, not a grenade, but that's fine. The stomper seems to only stomp once in a while. I think it's fine, it's just something you need to get the hang of. The fire on those is so good. Is this going to be one of those stupid cursed treasures that I still refuse to deal with? Probably. We should really be using our um, abilities that much more because they're going to cool down a lot faster since I took the mutation. Like, at the same time, only very special enemies can hit us, like those ones apparently. So, I'm not that worried. I'm not too, too worried. I'm a Canadian, I Yeah, look, it's a cursed treasure again. No! <laughs> when when the stakes are lower, when it's just a run for the sake of a run, it will be so. But when the stakes are so high that I have already paid them, I don't know what these words mean. I'm reluctant to. Okay. There is another treasure room up here. Is this the one we just went to? In that case, what's this one down here? Can't get to it. Let me go this way. Ooh, thought you had me, didn't you? Let me tell you, it ain't so. Ah! Get down! That was a little bit of a bad place to be stuck. Crusher IV is not as good as Crusher IV Plus. Ice Bow 4 is not as good as Frost Blast 3. Let's see which one uh, sells them more, I guess. Or just sell one and leave. There's, there's like um, ups and downs. <laughs> I'm noticing. The um, the game is at once being very kind to me and then extremely awful to me, and I would like it not to anymore. <laughs> I'd like it to stop because. There's positions you can be in where you're just basically owned and you're done and that's it. No more Mr. Nice Guy. But then the rest of the time you just breeze through it like nothing is even a consideration. I, I did get the key. So we do have to use this key. I think um, obviously you didn't see the Forgotten Sepulchre episode because it didn't record. I think what we do there is we just like keep... We do it again. Basically. That was so good. Because of the fire. Stop in the middle. There you go. Because of the fire, the, the frost blast just kept working, which was amazing. Yeah, this is the way down to the sepulchre. So we'll do that. Let's do that. Why not? I've made it a long episode. It might as well have some good bits at the end of it. Stop lagging out. So, it's all the same to you. There is a small delay on actually firing the frost blast, which I'm okay with. Because I'm getting the hang of it. Or at least I've not come a cropper of it yet. Excuse me? Oh. It's not as bad as the delay on some other things that I can't think of off the top of my head that I'm sure you will remind me of. I don't want it. I don't care. It's not going to be better than what I've got going on right now. So don't even... Don't even come to me with that. Don't insult me with your substandard options. So anything up here makes it even worth going up here. Just the way across the top. It's fine. Let's smash. Anyone down here? No. Give me the key. Uh, let's heal. 
And we shouldn't have taken that because we could have taken a bit of damage before it hurt us too much. But it's these um these cannonballs are basically the one thing that I am having massive trouble with. Everything else, fine. You know, just leave fire around. All the biters die. Everything else dies. Let me in. What do we got? Blood sword five, burning and poisoned. Firebrand. Is this better than this? It's just not better in the first place, let alone with Chris. I've got so much money, but none of it's worth anything because somehow I've found items for free that are better than the items that it's trying to sell me. As long as I can freeze them facing away from me, I have no problem with them. Okay, I guess we'll go find a flipping key then. It's over there. I've missed an entire scroll of power and everything. Down here, you say. You know, as long as you can damage them that way, easy. But if they can get those fireball, those those cannonballs on me, I'm. That's it. You know, I'm last Wednesday. I'm history. I'm geography. I'm geology. I'm the study of microbacteria in the gut. It doesn't matter what what study I am. Problem is that it's happening to me. There we go. Did take a little bit of damage there. Not proud of. Also, sort of just let myself fall there. Not necessarily proud of that, but we're alive. So, let us go to the Forgotten Sepulchre. Because why the heck he missed not? It was this one. I do believe. I think that gate means this is the way out. So we will take this way out. And we have also, by the way, sealed our fate. <laughs> There's no choice now. Sepulture. I could have looked further down that passageway and maybe found something. Gonna assume there was nothing there. Don't be sad. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we will put... Causes a large explosion. Burns nearby enemies. I do like a grenade that has an effect. This is basically the ice grenade, but for fire, obviously. But that, what I mean by that is it has the same, oh, excuse me, has the same caveat, which is that we have to use a different, um, a different mutation to improve it. Um, I'm actually quite happy with what we did. Sure, that seems better. All right. Let's fill this up and go to this scary place where the Vasta Nevada live. To kind of live seems probably like no, 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 yes, there, no, the, uh, no. Wait a minute, where are we? I've spoken to this person before, but you didn't see it. She just says follow the light. So you can get a light, which uh, so for six grand you can just have a light to reuse, or you can keep your existing skills. How long was this? Six seconds ago. You are having an actual LARF, mate. I didn't know I was going that fast, nor did I know that I was aiming for that. I didn't even know it was an option. Come at me, bro. What did I just win? Now you're just taking the mick, because I've had this discussion twice now. I, I don't like it, and the reason I don't like... I pressed the wrong button and <laughs> nearly sold my good button uh, skill thingy. Um, is because the frost blast, as we discussed, will repeatedly do damage because of the fire. Which means nothing freezes, so it's not that good at. Um... I... Great, thanks for doing that. That's really mean. Um, which means it's not that great at um, being crowd control, but it is pretty good. Oh, hey, hey. That's, um... Wait, brain. Let me just... One thing at a time. Or take some HP, because we might need it. In this one. The Frost Blast is not that good at crowd control, because things don't stay froze once they're on fire, but it does do great damage, which means if things do not stay froze, we can keep firing them. I hate these, um... Illuminati things because they can see you through the floor. Thank you for the rare blueprint. Bit of myth that that happened. 
that's okay. No? <laughs> you're gonna have to do a lot better than that for me to want to buy what you're selling. Sure, just keep doing damage. I'm gonna sell this and come back to the light. So in this one, in case you didn't know, when it gets dark enough, you start taking damage. You don't die. Unless you have the curse on, I suppose. Um, but you do start taking some damage. And then you get back in the light and it all goes away again. Much like the aforementioned Vasta Narada. So that is where that key is. A crusher and a shield available. I should have just used a teleporter instead of <laughs> checking the map because it's the same. Uh, let's go down here. We didn't use this yet. Let's check this crusher V. Um, it's actually worse. So that was worth my time. Let us go to the door. I think this is where. Is this one where we unlock the thingy? I do remember fighting some elites down here. I don't know what they gave me. Double crossbow magic on frozen targets. They're just not very good. <laughs> I like our trap and stomp meta, but mostly I like just freezing everything and then stabbing them in the back, which is also great fun, so just don't knock it. I hate that these things can just shoot through the floor, and even see through the floor is just a bit rude, thank you very much. What have we got here? Message. A message left in the storeroom. What? Soldiers leaving little notes for each other? Bodies are piling up endlessly. Burning them is no longer good enough. Some get back up, and others even manage to get their hands on weapons. We have to leave this island while we still can. What is this glowy thing that I would like to partake of? There's lots of skulls in the floor, I'm noticing. The floor is just made of... You know, bone. Nice. That could have gone horribly for me. But it chose not to, so well then. Oh yes, what a magical legend of magic. Where are we going? <laughs> I thought this was just going to be another little secret area, but there's more and more stuff. I'm just following the passageway and there's just things here. Hi. Good well done. It was not a difficult task, but you have excelled at it nonetheless. Ooh. Please, good. Whew. I am just going frantically right now. <laughs> I mean, I know I keep finding light and I don't need to worry too much about it. I've got so much money, it's almost not worth not taking these. Because I'm not going to bring this money with me. Yeah, we want to go back to this one, I think. Um, I, I've been collecting all this money on the theory that... Some of it would be good for me, but I haven't used any of it yet. There's nothing worth buying. Um, I think I'm going to do this. If you don't very much mind. Oh, that worked too. Like these. Thank you. Good. Well done. Just don't get it wrong. That's the important bit. Oh, what are you doing down there? Run. <laughs> get back to the light. Get to the light. Oh. Excuse me while I just <laughs> breathe. I, I know that I did terribly in the first couple of runs on this, but I think I might have somewhat redeemed myself if you would give me the obligation. I know I say so myself, but... Gosh. <laughs> I have to walk back. That's, that's rude. That's harsh, bro. I think we found everything as well, so we don't need to explore that place anymore. For which I'm eternally grateful. We can't get up there, we remember that. There's a time door there, so we want to go back through the really long um, treasure room, apparently. That's okay. I mean, 
<laughs> it would have been nice if there had been some sort of teleporter right outside it. Look at this. Nice. That was exactly what I was hoping for. It doesn't even matter right now, most of the time, if I hit them in the back or the front. Um, most enemies are just capitulating under my wrath, irrespective of the the angle of that wrath, so to speak. The focus of it. Please. My run. <laughs> it's very bored. Take me to where I need to be. Oh, gosh. It's not dark enough. It's too dark. Whew. I'm hoping that counts as light, because I'm using it. <laughs> I think some light is stronger than others, which is why I have some teleporter right here. I just went the wrong way originally. Um, sometimes it takes longer to actually go dark. Well, we have actually managed to balance out purple and green. Although our cooldown and damage on these, will, our cooldown will be increased, but our damage will be increased by either of them. We don't get much HP out of this. Our DPS is going to be outrageous. I think because we're doing okay. And this is going to be a scary place. Oh, we're going down. Never mind. If we're doing okay. We should take survival for the future. Yeah, sure. Still got more money than I can take with me. There's a scroll of power right above. Um, just occasional bit of extra HP is going to be that much more useful to us. But we'll, we'll try and keep our primary stat somewhere around twice our secondary stats where possible. I do appreciate a shop every now and then. Not that there's anything in it. <laughs> Tend to appreciate the shops to sell me food because most of the time I'm bad and therefore I've taken a lot of damage. Right now, actually feeling pretty okay about my uh, performance. Wouldn't mind a, a light anytime soon. Anytime you like. Some sort of light. That would be grand. Why are you not taking damage from this anyway? Uh oh. Not happy with this at all. Let me out. No! That turned around. It seems to be whenever I find an elite I wasn't expecting, the game goes to shit. <laughs> so, also. There was no light in that area. That was just rude. I should have run back, I know. Go back to the light you know about. Take things off a little bit at a time. Fine, fair enough. You got me. But I wanted to get through it. Well, anyway, thank you for watching this very long episode. I'm going to go and play something else. I didn't know I could do this. <laughs> Did you know I could do this? I'm going to go and play Darkest Dungeon or Isaac or something like that. And start another round of another series on the channel so i hope you're enjoying this one thank you for watching i hope you will join me in that one hope you will subscribe and leave a like and a comment and all that good stuff and remember to tell other people how great i am at this so they'll watch me too but until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you